G'day, I'm Scars. Welcome back to Grounded. We've got a full release now. Alright, and I'm very keen to start a new playthrough on this one. Very keen indeed. I've been waiting for this for a while. This is um, definitely something we've been looking forward to. Uh, we're going to just skip that for now. Alright, so let's jump straight into this with a fresh fresh new game i've deleted all my other games uh ooh, who do we want to be this time i've been pete i've been max i, mean, I think i tried willow once but i didn't get far with her i reckon hey, let's try I'm willow willow branch let's try willow this time and see how she goes something different something different i like max and i do like pete but uh this would be good just to to get the different um stuff that she says and all that so yeah so we'll um we'll just jump into it all right we are gonna call this uh gaming a set And I do know that they've added a bit of an intro Get now. For me, you, foul beast. <laughs> you think you have smarted me? The mighty Muldoon? I don't think so, Yoke's Girth. Stay tuned for what happens next on Yoke's Girth. Now a word from our sponsor. Kids, are you ready for a new wild and wacky Puncho fruit flavor? Introducing Apricot. It's a punch to the gut. So stop by, fill up, and make sure you get your Billy Hog hot dog before you get away. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, prominent practical technology signs a new deal with... Signs of what? Hmm. This is pretty cool. <laughs> It'll be good to see how we go with this now, because the full story is in effect now, so we'll actually get to learn what's going on. And the whole backyard, I think, is open to us now, so... And it'll be good to start fresh, because things have changed since we've last played, and, and I think it's due for a, a fresh start. Ugh. Oh. All right, here we go. And here we begin. Hmm. Cave nightmare. My favorite. Well, what version is it? Endless cave, bottomless pit, and possibly claustrophobic passages. It's the one full of spiders. That's that's what it is. All right, so I can already hear the ants and stuff getting around. So we'll just just do the basics, like it tells us here. Ah, it's it's such a familiar sight. And I'll grab this stuff again. So. Yes, it's good to get back into this. Uh, it's been a while. Let's grab what we can. Signal detected. Ooh, that's new. Whoa, and that's not an alarm clock. Well, whatever it is, maybe I should figure out where it's coming from. You know, Put that away. until I wake up. Totally waking up. <laughs> Any second now. You reckon? You reckon you're going to wake up? 
that bitch side. Then I grab that. Then I grab that. This is bad. Really bad. Time to wake up, Willow. <laughs> grab all these. Let's grab much of this stuff as we can on the way to where we need to go. Uh, grab some more mushies. Alright. It's all the basics for this episode, pretty much. Ah, oh, this is so much better, so much better. It's good to be back. It's definitely good to be back in this game. I love this game. It's one of my favourites. All right. So what have we got here? So we've got this there thing must here be still. Someone in charge of this science experiment, but I haven't seen any signs of anyone else. Good one, Nightmare. Keep me guessing. Well, scan this stuff like normal. Yep, yeah, got that one. Skip that. Alright, do this one. Yep, yeah, that gives us some basic stuff again. Yep, yeah, alright, and let's do. Yeah, let's do the pebble. Right, so that gives us some weapons there. All right, uh, we have to wait for this to recharge. That's all right. We've got stuff to do here anyway while that recharges. So let's make some of this rope up. Uh, we can't craft that yet. All right. Um, uh, I need more fiber for that. Uh, we can make that, which we will do. All right, we'll get that over and done with. All right, we're going to grab this. All right, so we've got some reading to do here. If you want to read it, pause the video and read it. Um, I'm just going to skip past it because I've read most of this stuff before. So, yeah. So this is just telling us how to activate the thing there, pretty much. All right. All right, some more stuff here. Grab that, grab that. Can't power that up. What about this? No, can't use that yet either. Anything else in here? Uh, anything else? Can we scan anything else yet? Let's scan some sap. No, not quite. Uh, let's get some more bits and pieces here and we'll make the spear as well, I reckon. Grab another stone or two. Just want to get our basics sorted here. Some basic equipment happening. And we'll, we'll keep going over there. Alright, so. We should have enough for that. Yep. Craft one of those. I don't think we can make that yet. No. Uh, we can make some band-aids. Make one of those. Trail marker. Racing spit. We don't need that stuff yet. Alright. We're on top of it. Alright, so we've unlocked another one of these. So let's scan up. Let's do the sap. Alright, so we've got a few more crafting things we can do now. Oh, we're up a level. There we go. Yeah, that was easy. Hey, now we can make the clover stuff. Well, that's a good start. So, craft... Do I need a crafting bench for the clover? Uh, yeah, we need the workbench. Alright, All right, won't worry about that for now. So, we've got our weapon. Um, let's just change our bar up here, sorry. Just need to rearrange this. I don't really want that on my bar. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Alright, uh, oh yeah, we need to find some water. So we've got the quest there in the top left hand corner. Uh, find some water. I'm too distracted by, uh, here we go, right here. Oh, just punch that. Slurp that I'm bad boy up. Die. Yep, cool. Dew drop. Okay, what else we got? Look for some more science equipment. Well, there's science okay, equipment that right here. Is definitely not normal. You nuts. Ah. Let's go have a look in here, see if they've changed anything inside of this. Investigate the machine. It's making noises now. Alright. 
All right, so we all know what we do here. I wonder if they've changed the uh, story here. So we can't change that. What's the worst thing that could happen? Looks like something is happening. Laser. Well, that was anticlimactic. Looks like the other two lasers are blocked. All right, so we've got to go cut down this piece of grass over here. Right, down you go. Right, so that's that one done. And that one we've got to go. Hello, ant. The solitary ant. One of a hundred thousand mindless drones. No hopes, no dreams. Bound to the will of the colony. Okay, we've got a pokey poker. Now we're probably going to need some more sap, I reckon, in a minute. Let's summon that. So we're going to need to make a torch in a second. I hear you. Feed it, nosey. Yeah, we'll grab his meat. Grab his meat. Alright, so uh, where is the laser? It is this one here, isn't it? Yeah, we do need some more sap, I reckon, but that's all right. We'll just we'll go through here. And yeah, we'll just get this beginning quest over and done with. Oh, yeah. Grab their stuff. Oi. Grab him. A bunch of these guys around. Hey. Whoa. Yeah, uh, that's not good. Uh, eight. Use a band aid. Get off of that. And you. You there. Stop eating that. It's not good for you. Not good for you at all. All right. Craft. So it's wanting us to craft a band aid now. We'll craft one of those for the quest. Grab him. Now we need to eat some food as well, so we'll eat some mushrooms. Pull up on those. Alright, and we're going to need a torch, so I'm going to grab these. Where is it? I hear you. All right, we need to cut down one of these, I reckon. Okay, we'll get all this stuff. Get all these chunkers. Definitely need those. All right, so let's make uh, inventory, craft, uh, where is it? Torch. Alright, so now we can go in here. Just give me a second to let my eyes adjust to that. There we go. Get rid of these guys. Grab his bits. Grab those. Got rid of all the mites on here. Yeah. Should be blocking these guys a bit more. A bit complacent. Stop eating that filthy little, filthy little blighters. All right, so that's that done. Um, let's grab this stuff for scanning. We can't get through there yet. We'll have to come back later. Right, how's our inventory looking like? Inventory space here. We got a bunch of stuff for scanning, which is good. It's really going to have to scan all that stuff up. So we need to go back to the laser now and uh, finish that quest. 
Alright, turn this bad boy off. Alright, so that was back over here. Uh, I am going to grab some of these. Just for scanning. We'll grab some of that as well. We want to scan what we can, so we can't even scan the aphid honey too. Back over here with all the mushrooms. That's where we started. Just over there. There's an old weevil getting around. Actually, let's let's take the long way around. Because we've got a lot of stuff to scan. It takes a while for the scanner to recharge. So we'll come back here and we'll just scan up a few items first. Um, like this. Science. Got that. Yep. And uh, we'll scan up the might stuff. Skip that. Arrow, might hat, stuff might buzz on the rocks. Cool. Um uh, let's any mini money. Uh you. There we go, got those. Alright, we'll come back later. Get some more after that. But, oh, more weevil meat. Must have been an ant, must have killed one. Alright, let's keep moving. Ah, uh, this game still looks beautiful as well. That's, that's, that's the good thing about this game. It's such a nice game. Alright. wonder if they've changed this. Oh, that's different in the background. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it actually has stuff in it now. That was more dramatic than I expected. Well, let's see. We just blew something up. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go investigate the oak tree. Now, I'm not sure where I'm going to set up a base in this one. Normally, I like to set up a base in this spot over here. But, I mean, I did that in the last series, so we might have to find somewhere else to set up a base. Alright, so I don't think we'll use the same spot as last time. But, um, we may as well, uh, uh, we may as well keep going with this. Grab some more of this stuff as well. Don't think we can access this yet. I don't think there's anything we can do here. We can open it up, I think. But I don't think we can. We can't actually access the mint. But that's all right. Don't worry about that. So we want to go towards the oak tree, which is there. Um, how are we for water? We need some water, so we'll just smack that one down. Yeah. Quick, come back. I mean, this is probably what bottled water is. It's nice and fresh. But yeah. Ah, oh, here we go. The old poncho ladybug over there. I'll probably drink some of this stuff. Now, I want this to be marked on the map. That show up? Yeah, tropical poncho. There we go. Ah, oh, it's probably just showed up then. Alright, there's a bit of science up there. We'll get that later. Uh, where are we going? This way. Ah, what was that? Not those guys. Is that an aphid? It's pretty cute up close. Where'd you go? Which one did he climb? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, hello. I'm not going to tangle with that guy yet. Yeah, all right, so... All right, it's just over here. Go grab this quickly. Oh, I'm just going to grab the sap as well. 
Gonna need a lot of that down the track. What are you? You're a weevil stuck in the terrain, so they still <laughs> fix the terrain stuckage. Alright, we're gonna grab this one here. So we can probably scan some more stuff. So, uh, what do we got here? Corner report. Um, Alright, so again, if you want to read this, pause the video and have a look. We just want to get into the game at the moment. Alright, so we can't access this, but we should have some more scanning points. Yep. So let's have a look at these. Yep, yep, got that. Skip that. Let's scan this one up. Oh, actually, let's scan this one up. We can make the Weevil Shield once we get the workbench. Uh, and we'll scan this. And we've got all that stuff. All right. I reckon I might have heard a spider getting around as well. There are spiders over there, so we're just going to ignore those guys for now. Let's get the um, just this starting quest sort of out of the way. So we want to go this way. Go around here. And it's over this way where we want to go. Eee. I hear more sites, which is up there, I believe. Alright, so... In here, we've got some big, nasty spiders, which we're, we're just not even going to try with those guys at the moment. We're just going to avoid them like the plague. Ooh, I'm going to grab that. A pre-smashed acorn is always handy. Good for scanning in the first bit of the game. Stay no acorn bits, though, like... The actual um, bitch you can eat. That's right. Still got a bit of daytime left. Alright, so. It's handy when you know where things are in this. So, again, there's those spiders. It's getting late. If I don't make some shelter, I bet some horrible insects will come around and eat me or something. Oh, yeah, most, most likely, man. Most likely. So what's it want us to do here? It wants us to cut up one of these, eh? You point that. Ah, it wants us to build a lean too, which I reckon I've got what we need to build it. There we go. Seems like something's digging underneath us. Alright, so I'm not going to build a lean-to here. We'll build that in a second. Good stuff. Alright, so where we want to go is uh, ooh, ooh, there's an orb weaver in there as well. I didn't think they went in there. That's right, we ignore that. It's just telling me to grab the bits for it. So where we want to be is in here. And I'll build... I reckon we'll build one in here now. I wonder if they've changed this a bit. I know this has all been sort of destroyed a bit. All right, now there is some baddies in here, I reckon. This looks like nerd paradise. Nerd paradise. All right. Quarks, bosons, all right, yep, whatever. I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Burgle, please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SMPI 42Z particle to Raw Science. Order received. Raw Science identified. Does it require cooking, flipping, or g -g -g grilling? No, 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 none of those. Categorization. 
That answer is not permitted, according to health code standards governing the handling of raw food items. <laughs> So, hit this. Oh, this is different. But this has changed a little bit. There used to be some guys in here, but looks like we've got a whole bunch of sap, which I'll just grab anyway. Alright, so what's going on here? This is definitely different. Security is locked down in effect. Where's that? That is... That's for later on in the game. That's where that is. Black Ant Hill. Edge. Ah. Hostile presence detected. We've got the hedge. What else? Bond. This is showing us all the labs. I'm just curious to see if, what other labs it shows us. If any. Lab 3. That's the haze. If there's anything in here. There's black ant hill and then it loops back. Right. It loops back. I can't get in there yet. I don't remember that being locked. Alright. That's something. Uh what have we got? In beginning test, eh? Uh, Okay, again, if you want to read this, just pause the video and have a look. Um, I'll read this during editing. <laughs> Here's our old mate. Nothing else around, is there? Let's just make sure. Take a deep breath. For this project, I am also a robot. You don't say. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully, I can explain. All right, so we're gonna have a chat with this guy. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully, I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. Well, that's convenient. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Uh oh. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Alright, so why can't I remember anything? It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Okay. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. Okay. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. Hmm. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains. And memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully, your memory will return in time. Okay, so who's... Dr. Kelly is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. <laughs> However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. It's missing. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my corrupted memory banks. Okay, so where are you we? You are here, in the Oak Lab. Built and used by Dr. Wendell Tadelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Oh, okay. To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Okay. Haha! -ha! 
That is a great idea. Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing. Processing. All right. This might take a while. Memory fault. Code 408B3000. Ominent OS script runtime error. <laughs> Arg. I am so Arg. Dead. It appears I have sustained more damage mm. to my memory chips than expected. Okay. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Right, Dr. Rechips. Kelly used two types of chips to back up my memory. Yep. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. It's to switch to nighttime, that's why the colors changed. Super chips are special, and they are gold. They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Right. Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Yep. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Ooh. Processing. Processing. Error. Files oh. not found. It can't scan the locations. Alright. Cheese and fries. <laughs> <laughs> the locations are missing from my memory banks too. <laughs> but we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. Oh, the okay. Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge, sending the coordinates to your scabby. Try to find the Hedge Lab first. But there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Hmm. Where do we get access? to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. All right, cool. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers too. Right. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Right. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those mm. chips. And try not to die out there. Alright, cool. Have an exponentially great day. It's good to see that he's got completely new dialogue. Like, this is completely different to how it was in the, um... Pizza table? Um, yeah, to how it was in the early access. Alright, so there's some science over here as well, so we've got a few things here, so we'll grab this. I'll start working on my acceptance speech. So there's a picture there as well. That must be Wendell's kids, I reckon. Alright, off he goes. We've got more stuff here. Grab all this stuff. Why not? Anything up there? No. Hey? You actually do stuff now? You, you used to just stand around and do nothing. What's this? Oh, okay. Huh. Alright, so, alright, let's open this door. That just goes back to the beginning area there. Alright, so this is what he wants us to do. So this is now open, so we can use this. Oh, and we can... things clean, there's experimentation to be done. All right. So we can buy some stuff with the science points. Smithing station. Booking 101. Uh -huh. hmm. Well, I say that's probably an important one to get. Smithing station. Brittle whetstone. Brittle plating. So this is different as well. Okay. We'll buy that. Uh, 990, so we'll leave that for now. Cooking 101, multi-story, so that's all standard stuff. That's a little bit different. Fortified bases. 
Yeah, this is all stuff we're familiar with from the thing. So quests, we'll grab these as well. Um, we'll grab that one. Bell Gulch and Grave Robbery. Alright, so there's a few things for us to do. Not sure what that one is. Can't remember. Alright, so... Excuse me. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to set up a lean-to in here. I hear more science. Grab that. Won't say no to that. So I'm going to set up a lean-to probably just over here. Brutal transcription unit 87.9.5. Order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello, my name is Gurgle, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, flipping, and g -g grilling. Grilling? A feature useful only to your obsolete burger-flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap? I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. <laughs> He's a cheeky little bastard. Alright, we can't build in here anymore. You used to be able to build um, your stuff in here. So it won't let me do it anymore. I can't even... No land rights. Apparently I don't have the land rights to build in here. Alright, so we won't worry about that for now. Um, oh, get rid of that. There we go. Oh no, we need food and water. Oh shit. Uh, we have limits. Or, I guess I thought I did. Eat that. Oh, that gives us some floors. That's alright. That's it. I know there's some stuff in here worth grabbing, so we're going to grab this stuff here. There's a milk molar here, which we'll worry about later. Can I get past this? Excuse me. Can we... There's some big ants down there we're not going to tangle with. All right. Um, we'll probably wrap the episode up in a minute. Um, I just want to go down here and just grab some stuff. What's that? Marble shard. That's different as well. So there's heaps of new stuff. So I want to grab this science over here. Crafted into armor plate. Oh, there we go. So they've changed that a bit. So we'll grab that. There is something down there, but we can't go down there now. Fort. There's something in the water around here as well. Unless they've moved it. Which is a good possibility that they've probably moved it. I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised. It used to be like a scabby thing. Uh, like I said, it's probably been moved. Grab all that stuff. Nah, not here. Right here. So, let's go outside and um, build a lean-to. And, uh, yeah, we'll probably leave the episode there. Yeah, oh. Good to be back at the... I'll get through here. Oh my god. It's the pain in the butt. Don't want to go down there. Let me go around here. Alright, so we've got a bit of an issue here. I don't want to go down there. There's ants down there that will eat us. You used to be able to... There we go. I say, you used to be able to crawl past that. That's right. So, yeah. That's a shame, because I used to I used to always, like, when I start off, I'd, I'd build a lean-to in here. It was just convenient to have it in here. So you can come in here, hand in your quests and stuff, uh, and then sleep. But it doesn't look like we can do that anymore. Um, that being said, can we open this now? Yep, come on. Come on. Take it, it's time. Right, where's my spear gone? I don't know if there's anything in here. Science. Get your science here. 
Uh, and we've got another molar, which we can't do anything with those at the moment. Um, not until we get the hammer. Let's keep moving. Oh, I love this game. <laughs> Alright, so we'll build one outside, I guess. There's going to be spiders out here. Always is. Just be careful around here. Just gonna set a lean to up over here. There's a bunch of um, stepping stones. Alright, this is a pretty safe spot. Relatively safe. So we'll um, build this right here. No, oh, no, no. We don't want to relocate it. There we go. Alright, let's sleep the day. That's new. Cool. Well, we're in a fresh day, so yes, we're going to leave the episode there for now. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, smash that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you happy to see a new season of Grounded? I know this was a reasonably popular one and a lot of people did like it, so uh, we need to eat something before we die. Yeah, so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.